everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making a very slouchy summer beanie. And for this project I'm going to be using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. And this is just leftover yarn from the Big Twist Value brand and the color is mustard. I'm also going to be using a size F or 5 or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And if you haven't already, then please check out my precursor to this video, and that is my How to Crochet a Beanie Brim, and I will link to that in the description. And for that video, I crocheted a brim that is 3 stitches deep and roughly 18 inches wide. And I went ahead and joined the two short edges of my brim together, turned my brim inside out, and sectioned my brim off into four equal parts. And all of this I show you how to do in that precursor video. And we're going to begin our row by chaining six. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will have my stitch tutorials listed down there for you. And the pattern for this row is basically going to be to place a triple crochet and then to chain three. Place a triple crochet and chain three. And as you can see, we are not working with traditional stitches for this row, but instead we're working along the edge of our brim. And that's the reason why we sectioned it off. So our goal is to get five of those triple crochet chain threes in each of our four sections so that we have a total of 20 of our triple crochet chain threes. And this chain six is going to count as our first triple crochet as well as our first chain three. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over twice and then we're going to insert our crochet hook in the available loops along this edge. And I'm going to crochet over my tail. You don't have to, but if you want to, I'll show you how. So go ahead and insert your crochet hook in the loop place your tail next to that loop, and then we're just going to crochet over them both like they are one. So yarn over and drop your loop and tail, then you're just going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until you finish out your triple crochet. And then from here we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're just going to repeat that process placing a triple crochet in one of our available loops. Again, we're going to work over that tail, and we're just going to repeat this around the row until we have our 20 triple crochet chain threes that look like this. And you're going to try to space these stitches as evenly as you can along the edge of your brim. And to join your last stitch, you're going to chain three off of your last triple crochet, and then you're going to insert your crochet hook in this gap from your first triple crochet chain three right here. We're just going to place a slip stitch inside of that gap. And then from here, we're going to chain six again. And then we're going to place a triple crochet in the gap between our next two triple crochets, so right here. And that's gonna be our pattern for the entire row, placing our triple crochet and then chain three. So just make sure you're placing your triple crochets in your gaps right here. And just go ahead and repeat that going all the way around your row. And again, we're just going to join by slip stitching in our first gap here. And we're just going to repeat that last row to build the body of our beanie. And I went ahead and crocheted a total of 12 rows of this pattern. And this will create a very slouchy beanie. So if you don't want a beanie that is very slouchy, you can take a couple of rows off. And to finish off our beanie, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch three stitches together at a time for this row. So to do that, you're going to insert your crochet hook up underneath your next gap and yarn over and pull up through. Then up under your next gap and yarn over and pull through. Then the third gap and yarn over and pull through. Then you're just going to pull through all the loops remaining on your crochet hook. And you're just going to repeat that until you get to the end of your row, working three stitches at a time. And when you get to the end of your row, your hole at the top should be very small. So from here, I'm just going to slip stitch into a stitch on the opposite side of my gap. And then again on the opposite side of my gap right here. And it's okay if there is a gap because our entire BB is gaps. 
So from here, you're just going to cut and tie off your yarn and then tuck your tail up the inside of your beanie. And please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.